What's up guys, this is Dad here, and yes, it's just me and Cosmo today. Uh, Julian is, in, is at sleepaway camp. He's gone for two weeks, possibly longer, if he wants to stay. Uh, said he came home from day camp today. He goes to a camp with some friends, and he was completely exhausted. They played sports all day long, came home, ate dinner, went to bed. But he did manage to show me how to code very briefly. Uh, Cosmo's update's awesome, and I learned how to do it in five minutes. Thank you, Sebi, for teaching me. Julian already knows how to do it because they both of them have learned this in school. But uh, let's get started. So today's a huge update for Anki and Cosmo. And I say this every single time, but this really is a big update. So they've introduced what's called Cosmo. Cosmo Code Lab, and it uses Scratch programming or Scratch blocks so that anyone can program Cosmo to do a whole bunch of functionalities and basically program him and say go and he'll do whatever you tell him to do using the coding. Um, it's really easy to use. They are not the first ones to do this, nor will they be the last. And there are dozens of devices and robots out there on the market that use Scratch. But uh, taking what Cosmo already has, as powerful as he is, and adding this to Scratch, the Scratch to Cosmo, this is the best robot ever. And there's just no question about it. So let's get started. So I'm going to hit Code Lab right here. And I'm using Julian's iPad. We did download it um, last night so that the iPad would be a little bit bigger and you could see a little bit more of what we're looking at on the screen here. Perfect. So here's Cosmo Code Lab. It, lo it loads it up. And I'm going to slide by. I did make something already. I'll show that. There's new projects. These are all samples that are already here. So let me do this sample right here. Driving and sneezing. So we're going to hit that. It's going to load up the functions of driving and sneezing. You'll see the coding for it in a second. And you can create this yourself, but it's showing you how to do it. And basically there's two steps. There's a drive forward, which is the little blue icon here, and it does it two times. And there's a sneeze, which is the purple icon. And then there's a repeat button. If you can see the number four on it, it's repeating four times. So let me hit the play button and let's watch him do it. So there you have it. Now he'll repeat this four times because it's coded to do that four times. So let me hit stop and we'll go back and I'll show you one more cool one that I just noticed was here. It is called Rainbow Backpack and hopefully the lighting is good, but his backpack will change colors. Let me load this up. So there's a functionality that again, we can use this and we can code this ourselves. It's a one step. It's color backpack, but it's on random. There's a question mark right here. So it's randomizing it and it's looping it forever. So it's a forever loop. So let me hit the play button and we'll see. So you can see the colors, red, yellow, purple, red, blue, blue, white. And it's just randomly picking different colors, looping through it. And it's a forever loop on this, which is pretty cool. So let me log out of this and let me go back. And I will show you what I made. So my project number one is right here, which I created just a few minutes ago. And there's about 10 different steps. Uh, I'm going to hit play. He's going to go through the steps and I'll talk about each step. It does light up a little bit over here if you see it real briefly. So let's get started. So the first step is two steps forward. And he makes a little celebration. And he's going to do four rotations and do a complete circle. There's two. There's three. There's four, one step forward. He's going to say something. My name is Cosmo. My name is Cosmo. And I was going to talk like a dog. And bark. <laughs> then he's going to laugh. And there it is. I made it. Ten minutes. So easy. It was unbelievable. Easiest thing I ever did. So how did we do it? All right, so let's go back one page right here. And we'll go to create something new, a new project. So cool. So hopefully you can see all this on the app. Um, oops, I left the page, code lab, let's go back. So it's really neat. I'll be able to hit some functions and you'll be able to see each one as I do it. So new project plus sign. Okay, good. Not sure why that exited, but. All right, so it starts off with the green flag, which is your start button, and nothing is going on now. Down at the bottom, as you can see these functions here, the first one is drive, the second one is actions, the third one is animations, then you have events, and then you have control. Right now it's on drive. So basically I take one of these and I just grab it and slide it, a little bit more force, sorry, I have to put my arm around here. Slide it right into the puzzle, and boom, there it is. Now if I hit play, the go button, he'll move forward one step. And there it is. 
If I want to change that one step and make it more, I click the one and I go to two, and now we're good to go. And he'll do two steps. I'll hit play and he'll go two steps forward. So that's two full steps. Really cool. So let me back them up again. The second one is a faster drive. Whoops. I can just drag it over there and a faster drive and I'm going to loop it. And then I want to actually, let me hit play twice on that one so you can see faster and slower. And I'm going to hit play. So here we go. Too slow and not too fast. So you can see a little bit faster of the mechanics of Cosmo moving. So now let's say we tried both and we don't like the first one, but we like the second one. So nice and easy. We just basically come over here. We slide that off. We slide that off, we swap them out, and we bring this down here, and it'll disappear into nowhere land. Now we hit play, and we have our two forward. Really cool. So really cool scratch pad is excellent to use. The other functionalities are backwards, backwards twice. Um, this is the rotation turn. Oh, if I hit it, you can see him do it. So that's pretty cool. So I'm hitting it and hitting it full rotation. And this one is drive to cube. So he'll drive to a cube. So there you go. Then you have actions. Uh, so the actions page, there's a talk down at the bottom right here. You can just drop that in and have him say something. So this says hi. So let's just put that in here right now. So he says hi. So let's hit play. Wow. So there you go. That's how he says hi. Uh, the other functions are the arms going up, going down, his head going up, going down. And the last one is the light, uh, the different colors that you can change on the light and stuff like that. The next feature is animations. Whoops. Let me see if I can hit that button. Got a little iPad stand here. Okay, perfect. So here we go with the animations. So we've got a ton of animations and all you gotta do is click one of them and he'll do it. So check this out. That was called act happy. Uh, this is uh, sneeze. And there you go, sneeze. So pretty cool and it goes all the way down to even the snoring you can have here. Let me get to the snoring. <laughs> there he goes. So nice and easy. So I can now drop the snoring up here. And we've got our loop. Now if I hit play, it'll play the whole video. And the whole program, I should say. Hi. Hi and snore. Not quite ideal for Cosmo, but anyway, you get the picture and stuff like that. So the next uh, item down here is events. So we have events. And with the events, there are different interactions and stuff like that. The first one is... Uh, waiting to see a face, so he'll wait for your face. The second one's waiting to see a smile. Uh, the third one is waiting to see a frown. And we haven't played with these yet. Waiting to see a cube. And finally, waiting for a cube tap. And then you have the two controls, which are loop. And there's a number four on there, so that's four times. So I could actually drop that up there and have him do it four times if I wanted to. And hit play, and he'll basically repeat this four different times over and over again, the same exact function and stuff like that. So, Which is really cool. So again... I just showed you how to do it. I mean, it's as easy as one, two, three like that. Now, coming soon, oops, let me not loop through. Coming soon, there we go, I didn't hit play. So coming soon, they're gonna add more. More actions, more animations, more events, more controls. The possibilities are endless here. So basically, this little guy, Cosmo, right here, can do everything. You can program him. So I'm looking at things like, now we can make tracks and have Cosmo have to follow the track or the path, go down, pick up a cube, and bring it back and drop it on a tab. And you have to actually program everything. So I think we're going to end up doing tons of videos with the, with the scratch pad, competitions, contests, fun stuff, even animations and stuff like that. But this little guy just got a whole lot better. And believe me, and you can see how easy it is to use. It's basically as easy as one, two, three right there. Let me just try one more. We'll do driving and sneezing. Drive in square advanced. What's that? Oh, interesting. It says it's locked. No, it's not. Locked. Oh, it's locked. Maybe you can't edit it. Okay, let's try this one. We'll wrap it up with this. I have not seen this yet. I can't wait to see the coding. I just want to see what they've done to get some ideas for what we can do to overlay things on top of things and stuff like that. So uh, let's get this. Uh-oh, what happened? All right, let's try this again. The first time it crashed. So let's see what happens this time. Hopefully it won't crash. I'm not sure why it crashed, but... Okay, so here we go, driving square advance. So it looks like it's three steps forward, one turn. Oh, this is interesting, okay. Let me move him back a little bit here. We'll wrap this up with Cosmo doing it and hit play. So three steps forward, 
two, three, turn. Oh, I see. He's making a big square. Let me get the cube out of the way. Oh, interesting. So you can actually turn him. So if you had a world and a land and streets and roads, there's some really cool stuff that you can do. There's, the possibilities are endless here with what you can have him do and stuff like that. It's just absolutely amazing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Cosmo Code Lab. This is just absolutely awesome. The possibilities are endless. Hey guys, any suggestions you have for us, let us know. Please post them down in the notes. Anything that you have. We have some ideas ourselves, but we're always willing to listen to any ideas that you guys have for us, for Cosmo, to do things differently, to mix things up a little bit. We have a bunch of stuff coming out for Cosmo. Look for a lot of videos. We're trying to get to two to three a week with Cosmo right now. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe to all that good stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Later, guys.